Mike Burns picks up his fifth strikeout. Strikes on Ethier, and he struck him out. Burns is having a career day at Miller Park. Mike Burns rings up Russell Martin. Hi, I'm Coach Mike, and today we're going to go over four exercises in our plyo ball phase of our eight-week throwing program. The plyo ball phase should be done every day as you see it in our eight-week throwing program. The plyo balls are good to be used against a block wall, a chain link fence, or even the power net that we're going to use behind us today. The first exercise we're going to do in the plyo ball phase is going to be the reverse throws. The reverse throws are great for your posterior shoulder strength, which is considered your decelerators. On this drill, we're going to get our throwing hand knee down, our glove knee up. From here, we're going to take the ball and we're going to reach out in front as if we just got done throwing a ball. With our chest over our front leg, we're going to take this ball and we're going to rotate and throw it into the net like this. Now, depending on what your level or what phase you're going through, in the eight week program, we'll determine what weight of ball you're going to use and how many reps and sets you're going to do, you're going to use. The next exercise in the plyo ball phase is going to be the opposite foot throw. The opposite foot throw is really good because it's going to help you rotate over your front side instead of around your front side. On the opposite foot throw, you're going to get perpendicular to the net. With your throwing shoulder closest to the net, you're going to have your feet shoulders width apart. You're going to rotate your chest facing the net, arm backed in a preset position with your elbow at 90 degrees of your shoulder or higher. The ball in your hand should be either 90 degrees or inside 90 degrees in your preset. As you rotate and preset, now you're just going to rotate over your front side, throwing the ball through the net. Now remember, depending on what level that you're at in the program will de determine how much weight you're going to use in the ball, how many sets, and how many reps. All right, the next exercise in the plyo ball phase is going to be the walkthrough. The walkthrough, we want to be about 30 feet or so from the net. All right, we're going to give us room to walk into our throw. We want our toes pointing straight ahead to help keep our hips from rotating. Okay, as we walk through, we want our elbows bent with our hands, palms facing us, and the, probably about a little bit about chin high, maybe just below your chin, okay? As you walk to your target, you're going to rotate your shoulders, trying to keep your hips parallel with the net. As you rotate your shoulders, you're going to get your throwing hand back into preset position with your elbow 90 degrees at your shoulder and your hand inside 90 degrees. Your shoulder and elbow should be pointing through your direction on where you want to go or your target that you're trying to go through. People say point your glove. The biggest key is your shoulder and your elbow. It doesn't matter if your glove's straight or bent a little bit as long as this is pointing to your target. So this is good for the fact of having hip shoulder separation. All right, so our elbows are bent, palms facing, toes pointing straight ahead. We're going to walk in, rotate, and make our throw. Walk, rotate, make our throw. Now remember, depending on what level you're at is going to determine on what weight of plyo balls you're going to use, how many sets, and how many reps of this exercise. The next exercise we're going to do is the base drill. Another term for it is the rocker. On the base drill, we're going to 
get in a stride position with our front shoulder preset with our shoulder and elbow at our target. Okay, we want to keep the, the hips directed towards the target, front shoulder, and preset our throwing hand. We want our elbow 90 degrees with our back shoulder, with our hand inside 90 degrees. From there, you're going to rock and make your throw out in front. We're really working on getting over our front leg. Get our preset stride, preset front arm, shoulder elbow pointing through the target, preset our throwing arm, elbow shoulder 90 degrees or above, hand with the ball inside 90 degrees, we rock and get over our front side. And don't forget, it is very important to follow the program, to use the the weights of the plyo balls that are directed and how many sets and reps for you. Once you finish this program, remember, we're gonna outwork and outplay our competitors.